hands up dojo where the strikes come from the fists, not from copyright bots. I'm Shifu Fu Pain, and for the last couple of sessions, we've taken a look at techniques not from Chinese martial arts or specifically Kung Fu, but instead from techniques from Taekwondo. And the reason for this, aside from looking at sources outside of what we're used to for greater wisdom, but it's also because these techniques are not exclusive to Taekwondo. Some of these techniques can also be found in Chinese martial arts such as Kung Fu just under different names. What a twist! The 540 kick, for example, can be found in Kung Fu as the inside turn kick, or Kuang Van Diao. Now that I've deceived you, let's get on to taking a look at the technique from Taekwondo. Specifically, we're looking today at what I like to call the back twist side. As with the 540 kick and the cheat 720 kick, this will be an incremental process. So if you feel the need to leave this video, practice the technique, and then come back when you're ready, do not hesitate. So our first step is to go over a couple of basic kicks that we have looked at before, but we just want to make sure that we have them nice and practiced and nice and refined before moving forward. Those are the side kick, and the back kick. And we both are going to want to practice these using both legs, okay? So make sure, making sure to alternate and that we can practice these with both legs. Now most especially with the back kick, we're going to want to make sure that we, can, that we actually look and see where we are kicking. Now, that may sound obvious. You want to see where you're kicking, obviously. But the reason why I say this is because there's kind of a variation when it comes to back kick, to the back kick. There's the variation where, of course, you look where you're kicking, kind of obvious, as you want to be able to see where you're going. The second variation is more often seen in more traditional martial arts, so such as Northern Shaolin, for example. This variation exists more in forms and routines, as, let's kind of be honest, it's kind of a very bad idea to not have your eyes on your opponent at all times. So our next step on this process is to take a look at the jump back kick. So for the jump back kick, we're going to start off with a turn, okay? This is to build up momentum. And the next step after that is that we're going to jump and push off, not with both legs, but rather just with one leg. And this is going to be the leg that we're kicking with, okay? But the next step after that is going to be that we're going to be turning 180 degrees in mid-air, and we're going to be turning our heads as well, so looking to see where we are kicking. And the final step after that is, is to perform our back kick. And again, this is going to be with the same leg that we jumped off with, okay? So it's kind of like the 540 uh, in that respect, in that we're kicking with the same leg that we jump off on. So now that we have those steps out of the way and firmly practiced, our final step is to bring it all together and actually perform our back twist side. So for the back twist side, the first step is going to be performing our side kick. But when we perform our side kick, we're, going, we're not going to, when we finish, plant it back on the ground. We're instead going to chamber the leg uh, up here, okay? So, so we're only going to be having one leg on the ground. We're going to jump and push off off of our other leg. We're going to turn in mid-air and we're going to look as we're going. So we're going to perform our jump back kick, okay? We're going to turn and look in mid-air and perform our back kick with the leg that was, with our one leg that was planted on the ground. So if I do it full in full now. Now when we're practicing this, we need to make sure to use our arms as well. Doing all of these techniques in order to bring our full body into the motion and to make sure we have enough power when we're kicking. And with that, that is the back twist side. Next time we're going to be taking a look at our final technique from Taekwondo, for now at least, by taking a look at the box split kick. But until then, thank you all for watching, and until next time everyone, peace be with you.